hello friends welcome to the class on engineering drawing so in this video we are going to discuss about the scales and the problem is been given like this draw a vernier scale of rf 1 by 25 that is representative factor to read centimeters up to 4 meters so we need to construct a scale that can measure a maximum length of how much 4 meters so the representative factor is 1 by 25 let us do this first so maximum length is 4 meter how we can construct on a uh, sheet of paper means we are going to convert this into a centimeter so that is rf into maximum length that is 1 by 25 that is rf value into 4 meter so as we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so therefore 1 by 25 into 4 into 100 after solving this we are going to get how much 16 centimeter so therefore first i am going to draw a horizontal line that measures how much 16 centimeter like this okay so this is a line which measures how much 16 centimeter so the maximum length is how much 4 meter right so therefore i am going to divide this 16 centimeter into four equal parts so therefore i am going to mark 4 centimeter 4 so that i can divide this line into four equal parts right so from here i am going to draw a, a line a vertical line of 2 centimeter like this i am going to draw okay now i am going to join this and also i am going to draw a vertical line from each divisions that i have marked earlier okay see here the total length is how much 16 centimeter but what is the actual length that is the maximum length is 4 meter so this is a scale of how much 4 meter each unit represents 1 1 meter so this is 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter and 4 meter so i am going to mark this one as 0 1 2 3 okay so here each box represents how much 1 meter now i am going to divide this first box into 10 equal parts so why because then i am going to divide each unit represents how much 10 decimeters okay so i am going to divide this into 10 equal parts so how to do it so since so this is a 4 centimeter i am going to divide at 4 4 unit 4 8 then 12 16 next to 20 24 28 32 36 then 40 okay i am going to divide this into 10 equal parts like this i am going to draw the horizontal vertical line like this okay okay so why i have divided this into 10 equal parts because we know 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeter so this measures what decimeter these all meters okay so next next so this is a scale that can measure how much 4 meters so this is a decimeter now i need to draw a vernier scale so therefore so and also one more thing so here each unit represents what one two three right one decimeter two decimeter and all 
so this can also be told as so this one unit represent 10 centimeter 20 centimeter 30 centimeter 40 centimeter like this okay because one decimeter is equal to how much one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter so that's why each unit represents how much 10 centimeter 20 centimeter like this okay so therefore i'm going to mark this as two uh, four six eight that means 20 centimeter 40 centimeter 60 centimeter 80 centimeter and the finally this is 100 centimeter or 10 decimeter and i am going to extend one more unit that means i am going to extend another four divisions like this so to draw the vernier scale and extending another unit that means one more decimeter okay that means it is 11 decimeter or 110 okay this is 11 decimeter or 110 centimeter so now once again i am going to draw a 2 centimeter line above this like this and i am going to construct this scale this is a vernier scale sorry two centimeter vertical line from here also okay so now i have constructed a, a vernier scale so this box measures how much 110 centimeter now i am going to divide this into 10 equal parts how i can do it from this i am going to from this point i am going to draw an inclined line any angle of known length so i am going to draw an inclined line of 5 centimeter since i need to divide this into 10 equal parts i am going to divide this inclined line of known length into 10 equal parts so i am going to mark at 5 5 mm each it will be easy for me to mark 5 5 mm so that's why i have taken 5 centimeter like this okay so from the extreme end of this inclined line to this box i am going to draw a line see after this at each division i am going to draw a parallel line to, parallel line to this line okay parallel line another parallel line parallel line parallel 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 line parallel line another parallel parallel so in this way i am going to divide this 110 centimeter or 11 decimeter to 10 equal parts okay now i am going to draw the vertical lines like this okay like this i am going to draw so now here in this scale each division okay each division measures how much 11 mm okay so 11 so next it measures how much 22 like this 22 uh, 33 44 55 66 so i am going to mark 55 66 okay 77 88 99 and 110 so here each unit each small box represents how much 11 centimeter did you understood so this is how we are going to construct the vernier scale so now what we have to do is so now we need to represent 
टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मीटर सो दिस इज अ मीटर राइट सो थ्री विल बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसी मीटर एंड दिस इज अ नाइन सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज हाउ वी नीड टू रेप्रेजेंट सी हाउ टू डू इट इन दिस इज सी आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मीटर वाई आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मीटर बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस वन ईयर स्केल आई कैन मेजर नाइंटी नाइन सेंटीमीटर राइट सो दैट्स वाई टू कन्वर्स दिस दिस इंटू टू पॉइंट थ्री इंटू सम टू फैक्टर्स सो दैट्स वाई आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मीटर सो बिकॉज द लास्ट यूनिट दैट इज अ नाइन so here i can get 9 in 99 right so i can with the help of this vernier scale i can measure 99 cm so that's why i am going to subtract this into 0.99 meter so what is the this i am going to get 1.4 meter so therefore what is the meaning of this so i can write 2.9 2.39 is equal to 1.4 meter plus 0.99 meter. I am going to convert this 2.39 into two factors. That is 1.4 plus 0.99 meter. See, I can measure 1.4 meter in the decimeter scale or meter scale, and remaining 0.99 I am going to measure with the help of vernier scale. Okay, how to do it? See, I need to first mark 1.4 meters. So here zero to one meter, then point four. That means I need to convert this into a, uh, a decimeter scale. I am going to divide this into ten equal parts. Since this is a four centimeter, I am going to mark four four mm, four four mm, so that I can divide this into ten equal parts. Okay, so now I have divided this into ten equal parts. I am going to mark like this. Okay, so now I, how much I need to measure first? I need to measure one point four. So year to year this one meter, then four decimeter. Therefore one, two, three. Four, so I am going to mark here. So this is a. I am going to take this as a point B. So one point four is over. Now I need to locate how much zero point nine nine. So with the help of this vernier scale, so here each unit measures how much eleven. So next will be twenty two, thirty three, forty four, fifty five. Sixty six, seventy seven, eighty eight, and ninety nine. So this measures how much? Ninety nine. So this one I am going to mark it as A. So what is the meaning of this? So from length A to B, this measures how much? Two point three nine meters. Okay. So in the same way, now we are going to try to mark zero point nine one meter. See how the what is the meaning of zero point nine one meter? Zero point nine one meter. What is the end unit? I have a one. So therefore, in the vernier scale, the least is eleven. So therefore, I am going to subtract this with the zero point one one meter. So what we left with zero point eight zero. so therefore what is the meaning of this i can write 0.91 into is equal to 0.80 plus 0.11 okay so i am going to uh, measure 0.8 in the meter scale or decimeter and 0.11 i am going to measure with the help of vernier scale okay so now what to do 
I need to represent 0 0.8 so that means once again I am going to divide this into 10 equal parts okay for that I need to mark 44 mm Twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, then thirty-six. I'm going to draw the vertical lines like this. So here each division represents one decimeter. So now how much we need to show? We need to show. 8 decimeter right so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so this is the 8 that means 0.8 meter or 8 decimeter i am going to mark this as d okay so 0.8 so next I need to represent 0 0.11 or 11 centimeter. So here each represents what? 11 centimeter. So I am going to mark it over here. So this one I am going to mark this as C. <coughs> so therefore, so length of CD is equal to how much? 0 0.91. So from year to year it is 0 0.8, from year to year it is uh, 0.11, that is 11 centimeter. So we got 0 0.91 meter. So this is how we are going to construct the vernier scale with the vernier scale. So now we can easily measure 2.39 meter as well as 0 0.91 meter. I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.